Hi everyone, this is Robert with Productivity for Programmers and today I'm going to tell you about iTerm2. iTerm2 is a terminal replacement for the Mac that offers several features that make the built-in terminal obsolete. So let's dive right in. The first thing I'll show you how to do is split your workspace into several panes. By pressing Command D, I can turn my screen into two separate components that will allow me to, for example, have different areas for writing code and writing the accompanying tests. By hitting Command Shift D, I can also make a horizontal split. In a future video, we will cover Vim and Tmux, which both have good replacements for this kind of screen splitting, but for now, this is a simple way to maximize how much is on the screen. The next trick is autocompletion. If you've typed some long command and need to rewrite a word like a file name, you can type command followed by semicolon and see a list of suggested completions. So here you see sort of a list pop-up that shows potential completions for this command. A very similar idea is Command-Shift-H, which gives you the option to choose text from your 20 latest copies. This takes us right into one of the most seemingly trivial, but as you'll see, incredibly time-saving features. Since most of the time, highlighting text implies that you will want to copy it into your clipboard, iTerm2 makes this the default behavior. Here, I've copied some text just by highlighting it with my mouse without needing to press Command C. Now if I press Command V, you'll see that it gets pasted right back into my terminal. Sometimes you'll need to paste not contiguous text, but a rectangular block, like an excerpt from a console in your favorite programming language. In this case, hold Alt and Command at the same time, and you'll see your cursor turn into a crosshair. You can then drag your mouse over the area you'd like to copy and the selection will automatically be copied to your clipboard. If you've just taken a break for lunch and have several window splits open, it's easy to lose track of your cursor. The simple command forward slash will show you a quick highlight of where your cursor is currently located. This is especially helpful if you're currently using a lot of splits. The final trick I want to show you is command alt b. On the bottom you'll see a timeline opened up. This will allow you to scroll back in time and see things that you once had on the screen but can no longer access. To encourage you to try out iTerm2 as fast as possible, I'm going to let you try out that feature on your own. At this point, you're probably wondering how to install iTerm2. You can go ahead and go to iTerm2.com and you'll see a download section. There's also a list of helpful features and full documentation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video about iTerm2. I'm Robert with Productivity for Programmers, and I'll see you again soon.